Hey, what's up, guys? Remaster Flex here. Uh, on a matter of just over a week ago, or in some case, you could say about six, seven days ago, we witnessed one of the most craziest things that could have ever been seen. And of course, this video is regarding the WWE. Um, just like this past Sunday of last week was WWE 2617's version of Fastlane and our main event saw Bill Goldberg versus Kevin Owens for the Universal title oh my god what the hell was that and I apologize that I made this video so late but first of all I've been dealing with school so this video would have came out much earlier like most people probably already made the reaction videos but this is my reaction to this bull crap yo the one opportunity that you have to establish Kevin Owens as a heel to fully establish him as a heel and you ruin it by having Goldberg just bury him in a matter of 15 seconds it's absolutely ridiculous and you know I understand at this point the decision was already made the decision already is done that's that's fine and Danny we're already gonna see Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar but for those of you who haven't checked out my last video you can see on that video of how I made a clear right before Fastlane how I explained how if the order for this Goldberg and Lesnar match to be interesting they need to make some kind of stipulation because I certainly don't want to just see Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title in a regular singles match they've tried that before and it failed and after that it failed again because it was a freaking minute and 20 something second match I mean seriously how much worse and worse can you get and one of the things that is irritating me about the booking with Goldberg is that they're so stuck in the WCW days it's ridiculous they're trying to book him like he was back in WCW first of all this is not the same Goldberg that we saw back then I mean he's still in shape he's still in excellent shape but this is not the same Goldberg that he was in the 90s and they need to understand that it's new talent out there and to sit there and book him the way that they are in this WCW fashion it's just like completely burying the new talent it's absolutely ridiculous and you know we had just seen Kevin Owens turn his back on Chris Jericho now setting up a match between the two former best friends of WrestleMania for United States Championship but it's like Kevin Owens the one opportunity because before that he turned on Chris Jericho doing a fest of friendship the one opportunity that they have, because at first, a lot of people would have considered Kevin Owens to be a tweener, because it was like, with Chris Jericho on his side, it was like the fans loved Chris Jericho, so that gave them a reason to cheer for Kevin Owens, but the minute that he turns on Chris Jericho, then he's actually getting boos, but Kevin Owens was getting a lot of cheers throughout the whole entire time he was teaming with Chris Jericho, and you know, the thing about it is that ever since he's been champion, it's kind of like the, credi the credibility of the title has been kind of funny, but my issue is, is that you have a man who holds on to the title for a matter of seven months, August to now, August to February, excuse me, wait, yeah, August to February, no, August to now, I'm sorry, August to now is late, I'm tired, but August to now, and um, you have him drop the belt to Goldberg in 15 seconds because of Chris Jericho interfering. I mean, are you serious? It's absolutely ridiculous. That's what you give a man who has carried the Universal title for as long as he has, only because Ben Bowler got hurt right after SummerSlam. That he had to give up his title. He had to give up that title after SummerSlam after he won it. That's the only reason why Kevin Owens was champion in the first place. But the fact that matters is that he's held on to the title for so long, you know. And the way that they repay him for this 
is to have him lose to Goldberg, not only lose to him, but to lose to him in the manner that he did. It's absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, from the moment that Goldberg returned, and I seen how his first match was a minute and some second match with Brock Lesnar, I knew exactly how they was booking him. I knew exactly the way that they were going to book him. I saw the exact direction that they were booking him. But here's my problem. If you got someone like The Undertaker, who's actually older than Goldberg, who can wrestle 15, 20-minute matches at the, in the condition that he's in, because Undertaker is in a condition at this point where he can barely move. If you got someone like The Undertaker, who can wrestle 15, 20-minute matches, why can't Goldberg? I just don't understand it. If they say age don't matter, and if you got The Undertaker who's older than Goldberg wrestling 15, 20-minute matches, why can't you put Goldberg in that predicament to wrestle for that long? Now, of course, we've seen how longer Goldberg matches turn out. It becomes more complicated for Goldberg because he acts like he can't keep up with the wrestler because he's so used to doing short matches. And that's one of the reasons why... He was, that's one of the reasons why he was the way he was in WCW because he always had short matches and when he did have long matches against people for a long period of time, he acted like he'd be struggling. And they, and that's exactly why his stamina is terrible when it comes to long term matches. But see, I just feel like with a man who can barely walk. Now, all this stuff I'm saying is just my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me on this, you know. It's my personal opinion, but you can always share your thoughts, and that would be nice and everything. And like, comment, subscribe, and please check out my video that I made before this one. Um, the Undertaker is older than Goldberg, as I keep saying. And he's been wrestling long matches for a long time. But Goldberg, you oh, you could say, oh, well, you know, he hasn't been WWE in like 12 years or whatever. He chose to not be in WWE that long, okay? So that's on him. But still, if they can't even book him to have a match for at least 10, 15 minutes, at least, I mean, it's just actually ridiculous to me. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous what they did to Kevin Owens at Fastlane last weekend, this past Sunday. And it's ridiculous how they've been booking Goldberg ever since he came back. It's kind of like, honestly, do not care for the Goldberg Lesnar match at WrestleMania, but I do believe that there needs to be a stipulation at it. It's obvious that Brock Lesnar is going to beat Goldberg. I don't see them having Goldberg beat Brock Lesnar, as that would just be completely stupid, because at this point, Goldberg will be like 4 0 against Brock Lesnar. Well,. Actually, he would be 3-0. and I said 4 because he eliminated him out of the Royal Rumble like super fast, but that doesn't count. He'd be 3-0 and against Brock Lesnar, and then that would just defeat the purpose of Brock Lesnar getting revenge on Goldberg. So, you know, it's just terrible booking with this Goldberg stuff. I, I, I wasn't in favor of it from the beginning, and I'm definitely not in favor of it now, which is why me personally may sound crazy, but I was actually glad when uh, Goldberg got F5 this past Monday Night on Raw because it's the first time, even though he held on to the belt while he was while he was getting F5, but it was the first time that Brock Lesnar finally got his hands on Goldberg in a long time. And, you know, I'm not even against Goldberg, but it's just the booking that they have for him is just absolutely ridiculous. And the one time they had to establish a man like Kevin Owens, who I believe who should have retained the title, or even if he didn't retain, it should have just been a clean fight, a good 15, 20-minute fight. But instead, they just want to have it be the same way the Goldberg matches have been since he's returned. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, are they that scared to put Goldberg in a long-term match? Are they really that scared? Are they afraid that he's going to be the same way he was in WCW? When I've actually seen him wrestle long-term matches in WWE in early 2003, when he was in WWE around that time. So, you know, it was a huge letdown. 
People had already made jokes about it before it even happened. Me personally, I'm not very happy about it, but it is what it is. I do believe that, like I said, as far as the Goldberg and Lesnar match for Universal title, that should not be the main event in my opinion. They are going to end up making the main event because they're two like the biggest stars right now. So, of course, it's going to end up being the main event because you got two part-timers facing each other, but it shouldn't be the main event because it's like it's taken away from other people who could be the main event on the car. It's taken away from them. The SmackDown side of it as well. And they really shouldn't be in the main event at all. But, um, you know, <sighs> huge opportunity was taken away from Kevin Owens. They could have done way better than that, but they didn't want to take it. And I'm just not happy at all. This video would have came much earlier, pretty sure. A lot of people probably won't see it earlier, but uh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It was a better way they could have booked. They, it was a better way they could have booked Goldberg since he came back, and this was just a terrible way to um, book Kevin Owens. After all this time, he's been Universal Champion to just have him get buried by Goldberg in the manner that he did. Um, it was like you have. It's like the one chance you have. To make him actually mean something. Because think about it. Had they had Kevin Owens win. It would have showed that. Oh. Not only has Kevin Owens turned his back. On his former best friend. But he has also defeated Goldberg. One of the biggest names of the company. It would have actually put a reputation. On Kevin Owens. It would have actually meant something. For Kevin Owens going forward. It would be something that he could have bragged about. Time in and time out. Time after time after time. He could have just bragged about it. And they didn't need to take the belt off him to have Kevin Owens face Chris Jericho for the United States title. They could have easily kept the belt on him, had him defeat get Goldberg clean, and then had them two face each other in a championship, in a uh, unification match where, you know, if Kevin Owens wins, he'll not only be the Universal Champion, but he'll also be the United States Champion. It's as simple as that. Didn't even have to take the championship off. Could have had both titles. Seth Rollins did it when he was the WWE champion. He was the United States champion, held both titles at the same time. So why why can't Kevin? You know, so it's just a huge letdown, huge opportunity that they did not take. And it's not surprising because WWE has failed a lot of times on huge, on huge opportunities. They could have easily established Kevin Owens here, but instead they decided to use this as another Goldberg WCW match. They need to get out of these olden days and realize that this is no longer WCW, that this is no longer the Goldberg from those days. They need to let that go and they need to stick into the current of what's going on right now. But sadly, it just seems like they won't anytime soon. So that's really all I got to say, guys. Just to rant about uh, my reaction to Goldberg winning the Universal title. It's just actually ridiculous all the way around. It's no way around it. It's just ridiculous. Um, so, sign off Raymaster Flex. Um, like, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys really liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll talk to you guys another day. Peace.